so I just got in the new Huben GK1 pistol and I want to do an unboxing video with my uh, partner Tumjai. Tumjai, hey, what are you doing here, bud? Yeah, he just got back from a trip. We just came back from the coast here and we got back to see that we had a package. Now, Sunjai comes and works with me here every day, precision sport, but I just wanted to point out, I'm not actually selling the Huben GK1. I just bought one for myself, and I wanted to do a video on it for the heck of it. Something to get out of the house for. We're getting back, got everything unloaded. Let's see what all we got in here. I can get it open. Mine in uh, 25 caliber. You can see it's got the packing sheet here from New England Air Gun. Alright, just a little newspaper and um, what looks like a nice hard case. Heck yeah! I like it when. Uh, my air guns come with nice hard cases, not jank ones. Sometimes, you know, you kick in the extra case and it sucks. You know, your darn thing barely opens when you try and it's, it's a battle every time. Now this is, this is a really nice case actually. This is just as nice, if not nicer, than even like the, the day state. Delta Wolf cases, or even the RTI cases, from what I'm seeing. Alright. Number 45. The 45th one made in 6.35 millimeters. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Well, look in here. We've got the manual. Okay. Looks like a fairly nice manual too. Some of these are just junk. Okay. Oh, it's even got the assembly in here. The full on assembly in the manual. You never see that. You always have to like watch a video to see how you actually can fix your air gun because there's no list of parts. Okay. So inside we also have, uh, looks like some O-rings and uh, I'm guessing a hammer spring and a magazine cover. Yep. Okay. There we go. Alright, then we have a couple Allen keys and a probe. Love it. Adding a, a another probe to the collection, uh, at least it's a quick connect probe. I hate it when you order a pre-charged pneumatic online and then you don't get the adapter. Does anyone else hate that? It is the worst to get your finally get the air gun you're waiting on, and then you can't actually use it once you have it. Okay, so yeah. We got the fill probe, the spring, some allen keys, and then we have the pistol. Oh man! Now I'm not gonna lie. When I saw the grips on these, uh, I was kind of hoping that they would look a little more finished um, than the than what I was seeing um, as they kind of released info. Uh, and it looks exactly the same. To be honest, it kind of has a little bit of an unfinished look. So. Um, I'm seeing the safety, okay, yep, so red, okay, for live, and then black for off there, yep, that's pretty obvious, okay, A little gauge, really nice looking Huben gauge, and brass, uh, that engages the magazine, bam, so let's see here, Looking rotator, yep. 
Okay, so it rotates, uh, and then with now it's locked in when I flip that down. All right, yep. I'm gonna have to finish this pistol grip. You know, some um, like polyurethane, uh, maybe a little stain. So it's, it looks like a nice maple. That's that's nice. Uh, got a little oil on it from manufacturing. Nice kind of carbon cover on the um, fill tube there, the air cylinder rather. And uh, we got a dovetail um, rail mounting system. And I'm gonna have to say the dovetail doesn't go back to all the way back here. There's no there's no mounts back here and so this is a matter of preference on pistol I'm a fan of shooting with red dots okay I'm a fan of red dots on my pistols and uh, just as a matter of preference I like them back here some people will put them forward and uh, that kind of looks a little weird to me uh, as far as ergonomics this grip uh, it feels really nice in the hand. I think no one's going to complain about it being too small. Sometimes that's the common complaint about these grips is, you know, you get it too small. This one's not lacking at all. You know, I don't have big hands or anything necessarily, but uh, they definitely made it. Even if you have big hands, this is going to be a great size on the grip. So we got just a actually pretty nice iron side on here so there and then on the front oh yeah I know no one's no one's actually manning the camera so no I'm not put pointing this at anyone okay not even Tumjai the dog okay yeah the kind of bezel around the trigger um, not necessarily my taste but I'm gonna have to take this puppy see how she shoots um, I think that was all I'm seeing here as far as the what came in the box and kind of my first impressions so now I'm gonna have to do a video where we go and take and shoot it see the the probe can't, can't it's lubed they lube the o-rings that's nice a lot of these do not come with that and uh, just fits right in there. I think, honestly, I might just, uh, I may just be leaving that in there. Yeah, kind of leaves one of the O-rings uh, sticking out there, too. It doesn't go inside. I'm not necessarily used to that. There it is, though. I'm going to have to take this thing. This is lightweight, too. This is just the, the right size. You know, some of these pre-charged pneumatic pistols get a bit, a little bulky, and, and honestly, they kind of feel like not very similar to a normal pistol, kind of more like a sawed off rifle sometimes. And so this one actually feels like a realistic pistol here. Yeah, All right, I have to take this thing and go give her a test. Yep. Tom Johnny, what do you think? Shall we give her a test? Huh? He's sleepy. Slept like a not very good last night. We went hunting and uh, this guy slept with me in the back of my truck and I'm telling you what, he moved around all night long. Yeah, you're a dog so you can just sleep whenever the heck you want, but I can't. See, you catch right up on sleep. Let's go shoot this thing, Tom Jai.